It's time for us to clean this grill. It's time for us to put this grill to the test. We're gonna do a biscuit test. Every day cooking, Dad, cooking every day. All right, here we go. Our grill is a, a little dirty. We're about 10 cooks in. And at the end of the video, we're gonna do a biscuit test to see how even this grill cooks. Now, I've cooked on it 10 times, so I believe it, it cooks pretty even, but let's put it to the test. So I did forget to turn my mic on, and this is pretty much gonna be a real-time cook. Um, I'm gonna voice over just a little bit right here, and then I'm just gonna let it go until we get to the biscuit part. But now you have to use a, 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 a plastic scraper on this, uh, I wouldn't use metal. I mean, it's pretty thick, the uh, drip tray, but I wouldn't take metal to it. Now I'm not using any chemicals or anything. This would be like a, a cleaning just between, you know, five or 10 cooks and you, you head it out on a Monday night, you know, and you want to clean the grill real quick and throw some uh, steaks on or whatever it is you're going to cook. So, now right here, you just want to make sure you get under that lip. I just noticed, I said that would be a spot where you don't pay attention to. Might get a little gunky on you right there just get that part out you know I had a pit boss before this and when you went to clean it you lift up the uh, drip tray and down below after a while there's grease there's ash everywhere and it's really hard to get in there and get that up you know real quick but guys this is really easy um, if you plan on buying this grill this is definitely a plus. You know, a quick 10 minute cleanup before you cook something, not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out and uh, I guess sit back and enjoy the uh, sounds of a YouTube audio library. All right, now I got the sound turned on. That make things better. After buy it, go get a little brush that I'll use just for the grill. All right, so let's remove this plate. All 
All right, so here's our heat deflector. Let's give this a wipe down. Let's take this out. Here, look at this. You gotta clean around here. Fouls up. And here's a little burn pot. It does move. So, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, shop vac now. This uh, and get you guys turned around. Let's just move this over here. This over here on this side. Let's knock some of this down into it. Ashtray.
I'll hit these grill grates when I'm um, hitting the back of them and I'll clean these off when the, heat, the grill heats up. Right, and then when we open this up, the trigger is going to compensate for compensate for us uh, opening the uh, thing. You, you'll hear the uh, that always makes me jump. We're going to place these down. One, two. I don't know if these biscuits are going to be good for eating. I don't know. I'll put this one right here. Might have should have wiped that grill down. All right, so let's see what we got. Whoa, what a definite, definitely a difference. Here is not as done, I would say, as here up the sides. Much darker. Much, much darker than, let's say, right here. So there is a slight difference. You definitely have to move things around in this corner. There is absolutely a big difference. And just like I suspected, this part of the grill is much hotter than this side over here. But not by super lot. See, look at this. Let's see. This is hot. Oh, look at that. So the one over here, this one is the one on the hotter side. This one is. So, but it's not much of a difference, is it? Slight of a difference. But uh, let's see with the dead center across and across. And let's just try this. Okay, from here. Look at that. At this side, it's not even as hot. You know what? Look at that. That's over toward the end here. The pellet is right about here. So obviously this one is much browner. And then across. Then some more. And then again over here. So I'd say it's fairly even. All right, so that's the, the biscuit test. And I also noticed around the outside is a little bit warm because there's holes in the drip pan around the side and it gets pretty hot around the side because it's air is coming out I would assume. Okay. All right so that's the end of uh, the biscuit test. I'm going to call this fairly even. Uh, you may have to rotate from left to right halfway through your cook. Every day cooking dad cooking every single day. Take a look at these other two videos and let's get cooking.